At three years old, he uh, had a heart attack. Had him here at Children's. They did a bunch of tests on him and found a tumor inside the heart. Um, and probably about the age of six or seven, he started having trouble, you know, fast heart rhythms and stuff like that. Um, he's been in Children's a lot. He's had four open heart surgeries. He's got a pacemaker. Other than that, he's a typical kid. <laughs> Doctors call him a miracle, let's put it that way. You know, he is a miracle. For what he went through and had to come through, yes. My name is Bradley. I'm 16 years old. Last year in February, I had a fast heart rhythm as I normally do, so I thought I was just going to get transported to Children's, they were going to pace it down, and I was going to go home. So I got to Children's, and they did an emergency open heart surgery, and they found a blood clot that was getting ready to hit my heart just in time. We knew that he had a very large tumor in his heart, um, and um, we weren't sure whether or not the procedure would be successful. I first became involved with Materialize through the imaging people in the Heart Institute. Uh, who had uh, done some um, three-dimensional modeling of uh, different heart conditions. It seemed logical that having a model of the heart um, would enable the surgeon to understand the anatomy and the location of the tumor better than looking at it on a computer screen. Dr. Nylans brought out the 3D model which they hadn't really told me they were going to do, and it was like a surprise, right? So now they brought this out. And actually, as he held it up, I, I, I was about to go to this national meeting. I took a picture of it because at my meeting, I said, this is our future. So the question is, and what the 3D printing really helped us with is, can we take the tumor out? And obviously, you can always take something out, but what do you have to take out around it, or what do you have to move to get there? I think that this particular model was very helpful for this case because um, to really appreciate the anatomy, uh, you really need to have the transparency of the heart and the, and the color of the tumor. I always thought my tumor was like the size of a quarter, but when they showed me the model, it's a lot, but it's about the size of a golf ball. It's the start of probably the next you know, the deck maturation of imaging and, and preoperative assessment. You know, with an aid like this, it would be so helpful to be able to go through the entire operation and the anatomy uh, with a resident or a fellow and really have them practice on this so that their confidence level and really our confidence level will be that much more when they actually have to perform the surgery. You know, a parent is always going to be, I always say, is going to be nervous giving their child for surgery. So really our, our mission is to make them have as much information so they can be as comfortable as possible. And this is probably that next step in making them comfortable. It's probably one of the coolest things that I've seen by far. But I, I wanna show my friends and everything what it looks like, show them that a heart doesn't really look like a Valentine's Day card. <laughs>